DJ Ruben's in the house. What what? Waka waka. <laughs> Hi and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben and this is my review for Turn Up Charlie, another Netflix original series. I apologize for that intro and I'll never do it like that again. I'm sorry about that, guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome and for all my returning subscribers, hello and welcome to you too. In case you don't know how I do my reviews, I like to talk about the series. I like to talk about what I liked and did not like and then at the end I give a fun fact uh, before I give my rating. The piss and the lemonade. Don't forget to chat to me in the comments below. That is your place to run wild, to chat to me whether you're interested in this, have you heard about it, are you looking forward to it. I will chat to you. I, I reply to almost every comment if I can. I love chatting to you guys in my community there. But for now, let's jump into the review. That's what I call my vagina. Oh. So Turn Up Charlie is about a DJ played by Idris Elba. Back in the 90s, he had a one-time hit as a DJ and ever since then, he has been clawing his way back. He longs to be in the limelight again and be recognized for his DJ skills. He wants to be at the top again. Turn Up Charlie is just eight episodes long and each episode runs at about 30 minutes long. Episode one, and this is not a spoiler, it's in the trailers and the write-up. Episode one sees the return of his best friend who is an actor, a semi-famous one, and his best friend's partner who just so happens to be a famous DJ. Waka waka! <laughs> and this is where the story gets interesting. Charlie sees this as an opportunity to get his DJing back on track, but things don't work out as planned and Charlie is instead asked to look after their daughter and become a manny. And here's where the heart of Turn Up Charlie lies. A nanny. You, you want me to be a nanny? Firstly, I should say that you shouldn't start this series unless you have a little time to watch multiple epi episodes at once. I had intended just to watch one and see what it was like. But eight episodes later, I wanted more and it's very addictive. Addiction. And because they are just 30 minutes long, it's very easy just to work the series out quickly. So what I like. Firstly, Idris Elba is likable and believable in this role. The DJ part is believable because, well, he is also a DJ when he's not acting. But he plays the part of the broken down man so well. A man fighting for his dream while still being charismatic on screen. Yes! There are times in this series that he shines, but I think that's partly because of how strong the script is and how wonderfully colourful the other characters are, which leads me to his auntie and best friend. They have by far some of the best moments on screen in this series. They are fantastic. They are funny and yet full of heart as well. I was really surprised at just how invested I got into the characters of the show and not just the protagonist Charlie. Almost all of the main characters have been fleshed out somewhat and you feel for them. This show manages to cover a lot of ground but at the same time doesn't stray from the core premise and relationships which are about Charlie becoming a big time DJ and the relationship he forms with his best friend's daughter. Talking of which. Frankie Harvey plays Gabby, the daughter, and man is she good. And what is even more surprising is this is her first time acting role, or at least a major one according to IMDb. Her character is quite complex, she is a girl who feels like her parents care more for their careers than herself, and she's thrust upon Charlie, who kind of becomes more than her money. And so, as you can imagine, their relationship is really messy, but here's where I felt the series was strongest. What's this? That. Foo foo. I really enjoyed seeing their relationship develop over eight episodes. I don't think she was awesome in every scene though. There are times I felt like her character acted out of place and she did and said things that was not really congruent to what the story had previously established with her character already. Like she would act one way and say one thing and do completely the opposite in the next thing. I know people are complicated and do do this. <laughs> I said do do. But there are moments it was unbelievable and I don't think that had anything to do with her acting per se. It was probably the script she was given and it's only a minor annoyance of mine. I think that's only a slight negative. I thought Turn Up Charlie had a lot of heart and depth to its story. It has a set of complex characters most of which go on a journey of growth and discovery, a lot of whom do better themselves in the process or come to some sort of realization that helps their lives. 
it's got some things to say about relationships and love and for me it has some nostalgic score as well a soundtrack which i really enjoyed kind of took me back what i didn't like doesn't really have anything to do with this series but the amount of hate this series has already gotten before it's even out people have literally said in many comment threads on youtube and facebook that they are going to boycott this series because idris turned down other roles to be in this one so we are getting this thing that seems to be very popular now where people judge a film or series before they've even seen it. My mind boggles. What seems to be your boggle? My boggle? Fun fact, did you know that Idris Elba so loves DJing that he DJed for a certain royal wedding, wedding recently? The one with Meghan Markle? I would have loved to have been there to have seen that. I think that could have been really fun. I thought Turn Up Charlie was great. I was very entertained. Are you not and the characters had me from episode one. It had minor issues, so I'm going to give Turn Up Charlie an A minus. Thanks for watching my review. Do comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoy my content. I am currently working on Hannah, the series original for Amazon, so look out for that. But most of all, until next time, remember, live long and Tuesday.